1260 men in there and half of them are unidentified. In the place where so many of his fellow countrymen died, Teddy Colligan has dedicated his life to keeping their memory alive. Full military honours. Six days a week, he tells visitors the story of the 36th Ulster Division, the only British unit to reach its objectives in the Somme's northern sector on the first day. The skyline is the German front line. Initially, the Ulster men did well because their commanding officer ignored orders. He used the British artillery barrage as cover for his men to go out into this field, into no man's land. Yes, some of them were killed by British shells, but it meant that when the barrage was over, the Ulstermen were right at the German trenches. There were 14 British divisions in action on the Somme on July the 1st. Nine Victoria Crosses were won that day, four of them by men from the Ulster Division. Robert Quigg, the only surviving VC of the four, won his VC rescuing seven men out of the uncut German wire in front of their trenches. Private Quigg, who survived the war, was from the County Antrim village of Bush Mills. And at a ceremony there today, the Queen unveiled a statue of the brave VC recipient. Recognition, a hundred years in the making. Great. I think Back at the Somme Memorial to the Ulster Division, Teddy conducts the think, tours uh, while his wife Phoebe opens the tea room. No, that's, that's brilliant. In part, she's here because her grandfather Charles served all over the Western Front, only to be killed just a fortnight before the war's end. Do you think in some way you're doing your duty? Yes, yes, yes. And I think my grandfather would be proud that we are here. Yes. For the last 15 years, Teddy and Phoebe have lived at the top of the tower, built to honour the men to whom the couple are devoted. It's very emotional what happened here. You can't not be affected by it. Uh, I do day in and day out be affected by it and uh, have trouble talking to people sometimes. And you really do get, you feel it, you know, you, you feel the tears in your eyes very, very easily. But you can't not, if, you know, if you're not affected by it, you shouldn't be here. John Irvine, News at 10, on the Somme.